Okay. My name is John Wagner. I'm the acting chief of Warner Robins Police Department. How long have you been a, a police officer? I've been a police officer 27 years. In August, it will be 28. Where, where all have you worked? Um, I have worked in just about every uh, part of the department. Again, but I've been as far a, as agencies? As far as agencies, this is my first agency. I became a, um, I started here at Warner Robins Police Department as an intern, actually, and that internship then led into um, a position. How old were you when you took that internship? Um, I was 23. I was in the Marine Corps. And uh, what's funny is I'd already set up with the internship. And at that time, uh, Chief George Johnson was the chief. And he was an old Marine, and I was in the Marine Corps at that time as well, but I was still going to college. I was in the Marine Reserves. And I uh, asked him about an internship, and he said, certainly. And we talked about the Marine Corps a little bit. Well, my last quarter in college, uh, I was called up for the Persian Gulf War, right when my internship was getting ready to begin. And uh, Chief Johnson said, no problem. When you get back, we have a spot for you. So uh, when I came back, I came back to the police department, asked him if I could do the internship. He said, sure. And during the time of the internship, the uh, police department was hiring and went through the, through the uh, um, different progressions for, for being hired on the police department and was hired on. You think if Chief, uh, Chief Johnson could see you now? Well, I, well, what's really neat is the other night, Monday night at the Fallen uh, Officer's Vigil, Candlelight Vigil, I did get to see him. So uh, it's really neat to... Um, I was proud of myself, and uh, he definitely was proud of me, knowing where I'd come from and where we've been together. So it was really neat to see that. Almost three decades ago. Almost that three was, decades, yes. When you were a 23-year-old kid, did you ever think you'd be sitting in this seat? No, not, uh, not yet. I mean, uh, to be honest with you, um, I did want to be in charge. Uh, you know, that, that I would be at Warner Robins Police Department now. Um, you know, you, you, you always look at, there's so many different avenues in law enforcement. But I, I did want to be in charge of something. I always laughed that I wanted to be a trooper, and I wanted to be the first colonel that drove a trooper car. Um, now, as a, as acting acting chief, I have no problem with getting into a patrol car and going out there and work. Um, and we see you out there, and you have seen me out there, and I'm I'm not afraid of my roots, and and um, I think that keeps me grounded, and and uh, it keeps me in touch with uh, with the the present day officers who are on the road. It also reminds me where I where I'm at and how far I've come. Take me inside Acting Chief John Wagner's mind for a second. You've right. been a police officer for almost 28 years. What does that mean to you? What does being a police officer mean to you? Um, well, first off, it makes me very proud. Uh, you know, people talk about good old boys. I am a good old boy. I'm, I'm good in the fact that anything that happens in my city, I take personal. I've got family that lives here. I've got friends. I, I've made so many contacts. Um, I've lived my life here, so it means the world to me. And and having the chance to make an impact um, on on those persons um, that I've met means the world to me. Uh, and I've met so many people, and I've had so many opportunities that have been given to me um, that I've been really blessed with. And, and and you know, try to learn a little bit from each of them. And I've got so many stories. That's that's what's neat. Um, to me, and, and, I, and I tried not to just focus on one thing. There's so so much out there, and um, you know, and I wanted to broad, broaden my horizons um, from working you know, not only patrol but in traffic and, and being able to pull up on an accident, and knowing exactly what happened before you even told me. Um, you know, things like that. I, I've enjoyed going to the football games and, and escorting the team. And then years later saying, hey, remember me? I was one of the football players and you spoke with me and, and it meant the world to us that there was blue lights and you were leading us through the city. Um, it was a positive impact and it was something like, hey, we meant something at that point in time. And, and those are the kind of things that I enjoy. I enjoyed being able to, to work with a presidential detail or Miss America's parade. Uh, you it's, it all, right? Exactly, I've, I've been able to see it all. You know, if you had to sum it up in just one sentence, what right. is a police officer? Um, police officers is kind of like riding a roller coaster. You spend a lot of time going up the hill, you get to see the peak, and it goes back down, and then you ride again. There's, there's never anything that is the same. You may have similarities, but they're not the same. But it is absolutely rewarding at the end of the day. You have highs and lows, you see the entire gamut of emotions, but it is absolutely satisfying at the end of the day knowing that you've made an impact. But 28 years, you've seen everything. Yes. What keeps you coming back every day? 
um, again, just now that I'm in this position, I want a positive impact on those men and women that I've been in their shoes before to give them something to shoot for, make their lives a little bit easier, and, and let them know that I understand what they're feeling and what they're doing. As far as the community goes, I want them to know that they're number one to me, and I want it to be a safe community. Uh, looking back on all your, you got too many stories to tell, I know. <laughs> but when you look at, back at all of it, over all your time as a police officer, I was 28 years on the force, what stands out to you? What one moment, one experience, one thought, one emotion stands out to you? Is there one? It's, it's tough to say because you've seen so many, like I said, there's so many highs and lows. Sometimes you close your eyes and you see the last call. Um, I, I, you know, I think about the children that, that have passed and, I, and I've seen, seen that and I've seen the, the uh, despair in parents' eyes. But I've also seen the, the brightness when the child has been found or you know, something as good has really happened. We see the worst in people, sadly, in this position. Um, so when we do get to see the bright spots, you really want to try to cherish those. Um, there are people that say police are really cynical and they've got a sick sense of humor. But you know, again, we see the worst in people and if you don't sometimes have to laugh about it, that's, that's some, somewhat, somewhat of an outlet that you'd end up in the corner in the fetal position crying about it. So, uh, you know, we're, we sometimes don't get to rush in and save the day. Sometimes we have to put handcuffs on, on people and, and it's in front of the, the child. Um, and, and you hate for that to happen because you want these people to call you when, when you really need help. But then at times they see, you know, it's, uh, they're taking away the bad guy and that sometimes is the person that they love. Even though they've been abused and it's still a check walking out the door and, and you're not seen in the best of light. Um, the last thing I want to ask you, um, what's one thing about John Wagner, the person, that you want people to know that you think they might not? Yeah. Because uh, you, you know, folks, for better or for worse, oftentimes have a conception of what a cop is. Right, right. What's going on behind the badge? What about you do you wish people mm -hmm. who you meet on the street every day knew? I absolutely love my family. I love family time. I love spending time with my wife and child. I absolutely love soccer. I love watching my child play soccer. I wish I could move around even better and play soccer more myself. Um, I love coaching, um, getting into refereeing. I absolutely love football, high school football. Um, you know, I, I, I enjoy that because you never know every, any given Friday night uh, the opposite team can win. Uh, I, I just, I love to travel. Uh, we've been to Europe several times and I absolutely love, love seeing things like that. So uh, um, there's much more to this world um, outside of the badge and outside of this uniform. You're a full person. I'm a full person. I, I, I get up in the morning, put the uniform on, always wear the vest and uh, you know look forward for the day. But I too have emotions and feelings and uh, you know we worry and we despair over things and we laugh and we cry. But we get through the day and we get through the day with each other, uh, with our families and friends. It works out. Do it. Warner Robins or Northside? <laughs> Northside all the way. <laughs> What's funny is, is I'm the, um, uh, the son of two Warner Robins graduates. And, uh, You've got a little hybrid relationship. I, there, there, there really is, but they did really good because when we were over, you know, ended up on the north side of town, they did support north side. But I'm sure it, it, it hurt them to yell, go big blue when they're, they're demons. So, um, but that's okay. It, it's, uh, it's really neat. And I've got a lot of friends that are, you know, from Warner Robins and north side. And, and uh, it's, it still holds a special part of me.